Okay, fast tutorial on how to create in Canva one image to share with multiple images in it to be able to get a lot of votes on anything they're thinking about doing, whether that's your book design or an author photo or anything. Okay, so what I usually like to actually do is if you pick, go to canva.com and if you pick flyer or poster, it'll actually take up more screen on Facebook. As an example, on Facebook, we'll show it all. So you can kind of take up more screen as people are scrolling, which is really nice. So I might pick flyer. And what I'm showing you should be able to do all completely with a free Canva account. You can also upgrade for a business account, which gives you more features and things, but you should be able to just do this with a free one. So what you do is now you start with a blank canvas. If you want, you can change the background really easily. Just click on background. You can pick your own colors or you can pick one of these. Some of these are free. So like if, um, I'll just pick one, one of the kind of like this green gradient. Cool. Go for it. And then what you'll want to do is go to uploads because you're most likely going to upload your own images if you want to do a vote on things. And I've already got a bunch of images uploaded, but if you don't have any, then you can just drag them in here or upload them yourself. And you can say, okay, let me pick three things to vote on. So uh, just for quickness sake, I'll just drag three things on that I've got. Um, <laughs> put this silly cat and this dog. Let me see what else have I got. So you can see I've got a bunch of photos from a book contest that I did, and I actually did this, or I, I took a little bit. Actually, let me show you the book. So I, let's forget these little, these little guys. All right, so let's see. Do this one, this one, and that one, just as an example. Okay, so once you put them all on the canvas, I like to then select them all and then resize them so that they'll fit on the screen because you want to make this really easy for people to see visually. So click somewhere else so that you can just select them individually. See. All right, so it's still so too big, so I'm gonna select them all and resize them a little bit. Okay, how about this? Now, as I'm doing this, I'm like, well, I, I normally wouldn't make it look like this. I'd put them all three or all four in a row or um, all four across. And since they're, the way that I've got this laid out, I'm gonna actually pick a fourth one just to show what that looks like. So let me make this smaller. Okay. So once you've got your items on there that you want to vote, then you want to click on text and I usually click this bigger one and then you want to do like one, two, three, four or A, B, C, D, whatever you do, make it really simple. So let me see here, I'm going to click on it and make it bigger. I want to make it super simple for people to vote. Okay. So that's clearly a one. Now I'm just going to hit duplicate to that guy and move them over to here. I'm at Starbucks, so the Wi-Fi is a little slow on this. Duplicate, move it down here. We've got baby Evan right next to me. He's being so good. Duplicate one more time. And four. Okay, cool. So very simple. Now it's really easy for people to vote. And actually, once you've got it up there, you might say, oh, let me pick a different background. Let me see what it looks like with a dark background. Oh, we can't read the numbers anymore. So you could change those to white, but I think I might actually just go back to like a white background. You can also click on this little guy and pick any colors you want. So if you hit the plus sign, you can even put your own hex code. So my brand color, for example, is CF0127. So I could pick that red color if I wanted, or you can just kind of slide it around in here. So I might go back to white or like a light gray since Amazon's back on the side is white. Oh, one more thing I might say, if you also wanted to, you could resize this down just a bit. 
and then add a title on top telling people what to do so they don't even have to read the description on your post you can make it super easy and say help me pick people love to vote make that nice and big it's too big you can resize like that Cool. If you wanted to make that stand out a little bit more, click on elements and click on shapes. So maybe this guy. So I'm going to put a little gray box, let's say. Resize this here and drag it back here. Now I'm going to change its position and send it all the way behind that. All right, cool. So now I'm good to go. So all you have to do is now go to this little button for download. I like to do JPEG or PNG. Hit download. See so if you want a transparent background, you have to have a pro account, but you don't need that for here. You're so good. You're so good. Just one more minute. All right, cool. And I'll say test photo so I know where to find it and I'll put it on the desktop. Save. And now, let me show you one last little step. Oops, Facebook. So now you just come to your page and you add a photo that you just made. Slow internet intermission. Should we get the baby? Oh, there it comes. Okay, so I'm going to go, where did I put it? Desktop, click there. Should be at the top, test photo, open it. It's processing. Okay, come here. Come here. While it processes, putting baby Everett into the picture. Hello. Hello. You're so good. You're so good. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. So now it's coming up here. And then your text, your copy can be as simple as vote. I need your help choosing. And if it allows you, click on going into your story as well. So then people will see it in your story. And then just hit post. I would keep it public so anyone and everyone can see it. And you will get more interaction on a post like this than anything else that you do. It can be super helpful in you choosing your cover design, what author picture to use, anything. Heck, it could be titles. You could have like two different titles, but put them on the same image so that it's super easy for people scrolling to see and then just quickly vote A, B, one, two, whatever. Just make it super, super easy. Left, right. People love to vote on this. You'll get so much interaction and it'll also help tell Facebook that your posts are valid because you're going to get so much interaction that it'll make your future posts after that get even more attention as well. So you can't lose. Hit post and you're good to go. And then share it on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. All right, I hope this was helpful. Bye. Bye. Bye.